Hey, this is Crypto Coding here back with another game development episode on this channel. Today we will be building that something looks like this. This is our enemy, the first ever enemy. So I'm really, really sorry, first of all, that I can't make videos because of schools and stuff. So with a further ado, let's get started. So we need some stuff here. So I'm gonna show you. First, as always, you want to go here, go to the scene view, click on there, and, uh, and just use a note. And add a kinematic body 2D to it with a collision shape. Uh, after you do that, you have that you have something that looks like this. Something that looks like this. We'll rename them to enemy underscore zero. Zero. Because uh, the more much more you duplicate the number zero will be changing so our enemy holder or something There we go. Now we will be uh, defining our shape. So let's first for now. Let's use this one We'll be using that one now go ahead and We need to add a Another node called sprite as always so go to here goes um, for me at least Go to assets, base pack, enemies, and choose. I'm going to choose this one. Oh, I have a mistake. Dang it, I have a mistake. With you have to use animated sprites. So animated sprite thing. Now, now it's fine. So go to frames, click new sprite frames, and click on here. We have animations window. So after you do that, we have to rename him to Idle. Dang it. Idle. We'll pop our this animation for so for now. Click on new. Let's rename this animation to run. And just just pop it out. There you go. Now <clears throat> our animation for now is going to be idle. So now we will be, no sorry, first thing is, <laughs> okay, first thing is uh, zoom in, we need to shape our collision shape, yeah, shape our collision shape, so let's see, like, this will be fine, there you go, now click on the enemy, click on this button, and we have our thingy, now, now if you run this now, well, voila, you have your first enemy. No, the enemy doesn't do, do much. The enemy doesn't do much. So what are gonna we do to actually make the behavior what you want? So what you need to do first is go, go, like zoom in, in. Let's see. Now click on the enemy and go back. We have script. Go ahead and click here. Click on the new script. You, in your case, you're looking at creating a new script. But for me, I have already have a script. So the world, I think, yeah, this one. Open up and enemy.gd. So this is what my uh, script looks like for now. First of all, we have two variables. I mean, one, two, three variables. First of all, we have three, yeah. Next of all, we have another three variables. We have six variables in total. Now, if you see the export here, export means that uh, you can edit it from the inspector because I want my enemy speed. I want to edit that in the inspector view. Inspector, yeah. Okay. Now we have enemy motion. I don't think you need to export that. So let's make it just a bar. Th that's my mistake. Don't do that. That's not worth it. Okay. Now another we need is the gravity. So let's cut down that one and paste it here. Okay. Now, uh, another thing, we have enemy direction and set it to equal to 1. Now, the, the logic here is if our enemy direction is 1 and we collide with a wall, we want our enemy direction to change from 1 to minus 1. That's the logic what we'll be doing. So for now, another variable called up. Now we need that variable to determine that the up direction. For some reason, Godot needs it. Okay. Now we need another direction called opposite direction. So, anytime one times the minus 
one if you if a value like enemy speed for example is 40 now if you multiply with opposite direction or minus one the value will be changed so that's the thing okay let's go down and we have our ready function ready function doesn't do much it just sets the physics process true so let's say it's saying hey start the physics process now this line of code physics process delta you know that it's just to how Godot handles physics types maths and things okay first of all we want to say enemy motion our up above vector right here dot y it means the y value plus equals to it means make it down so in the y axis if you go uh, go down it's actually plus it's just opposite so y if you go up it's minus if you go down it's plus but in mathematics it's all completely opposite <laughs> okay so plus equals to our gravity so it will make it down it will add the gravity to it now we'll saying that if it's is on wall if our if we is on wall of course our enemy direction changes to enemy direction times opposite direction so en enemy direction is one and opposite di di direction is minus one so one times minus one is minus one that's how it changed the values okay that's what is happening so if this is minus one if the enemy direction minus one minus one times minus one is one that's the thing that's so simple okay now another variable here we'll saying uh, if you can hear the sound a background sound I'm sorry these things okay now our enemy direction if our enemy direction is equals to one we're saying if your enemy direction is one what do we want to do we want to change these things to false state. so if you downloaded the uh, the enemy base fact if you go to enemy uh, if you go to the animated sprite I have changed some things where is it uh, did, did I change that no I didn't so first of all if you want to have much more control over your sprites I recommend you go to the transform component of your animated sprite and click on the scale here and instead X to minus one boom and it changes it flips up just uh, hang it over there it, it will be fine okay it will be fine okay so what what we are saying go back to script and if our enemy direction is minus one, so it means we are going opposite direction, we want to flip base to true because, yeah, that's what we're doing. So if you can understand this code, you're basically done. Okay? It's basically done. Now, we are using a raycast here, but uh, for, for me, it's not what, I mean, for me I don't need it yeah I, I don't need the recast I'm gonna show you in the next video this is the enemies part one the part two we will be discussing about recasts and how it will affect our game and uh, enemy AI and stuff so and now we are using enemy dot X remember the X the X axis now uh, enemy direction times enemy speed so enemy direction will be changed depending a enemy direction will change depending on wall and if the enemy direction is one we just need to flip it that's thing okay so go back remember the scale thingy and hopefully play it. the first thing you can see the uh, uh, the mm, the enemy is like they're lying down as you can see the one this is lying down now it's because uh, for the gravity it's because for the gravity so what you need to do is just change the collision shape of it so you can be you can be how creative you want but uh, uh, okay. you know what you can do that without this code so let's comment this thing out save that run and oh god now it's a weird problem. There, there we go. That's much better, right? 
Okay. And that's how to do enemy for now. In the part two, we will be doing this enemy, the same enemy, but how can we uh, make it to stay over here? Because they don't have walls, right? They don't have walls. And that we will be doing in the next video. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. I should fuck her in the best